Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. So, um, in the last episode, um, it didn't really do much. Well, no, we did, did a, did a lot, um, in the case of, like, we were, you know, continuing to adjust Futaba to, like, regular society and stuff like that, modern society and stuff. Um, and now, this episode, um, the long-awaited trip to the beach is finally going to happen. Let's check our plants. Pretty healthy for now. Yeah. That's my... Sorry about that, guys. Um, my, um, computer caught fire and burned down my house. So, um, now I'm filming at the uh, next-door neighbor's house. Um, that and or a, a random glitch happened that you guys couldn't see, but... I could see there was something going on like it was it wasn't it wasn't um, it wouldn't affect me. It was just, I don't know. Anyway, so um, a lot of stuff is gonna be happening. Not a lot of stuff, but just like yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna wait one more time. I'm gonna get right into this episode. Let's go to bed. Be a good boy. Go to sleep. Um, yeah. Man, like. School is so we're already at 63%, but our school is starting. The start of school is start in the start of school is becoming scarily closer and closer. Alright. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit Oh yeah, I got her. I'll fight them off. Ugh. Punch, punch. Don't do anything that'll make you stand out, moron. Oh. Just act with your brains. Okay, okay yeah. That's a good idea. Hey, can we go already? All right, all right. Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> right. Uh, sorry. All right, then. Guess I just have to let it go. <laughs> have fun. But be careful, you two. Oh, yeah. All right. The, <laughs> the beach or something. This is a great song, by the way. Ryuji and An look so cute together. They look like, like in that scene, I, it just showed like that the, they would kind of, kind of be a good couple. Oh, it's so hot. I got to go back for Yusuke because he's wearing a hoodie, and if it's so hot, then like, why is he wearing a hoodie anyway? There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? She seems okay. I'm fine. You guys are here. Uh, yeah, that's so okay. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! Um... Uh, okay. It's cooked, so don't worry. <coughs> I'm squid if I'm not around. Why don't we eat lunch, too? <coughs> I'll go get some stuff for us, then. Okay. You want me to pipe like some of it? 
Let me... You're eating that even here? Uh, my staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as yeah. possible. What well, well, Morgana being the loop today. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Actually, on a real note, though, I can't even remember the last time me as a person like myself in real life played volleyball. Huh. Already made plans to ride a banana boat. Like the brand? <coughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna pretend I never said that. We can only rent a three person one. Sorry. Mm. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. Oh, yay. <laughs> Hell no! Why do you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality. Strange, isn't it? <laughs> uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But, Lady On, can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. How is it dangerous? This isn't like a pool where you like, oh, slip and fall and crack your head. It's the beach. Like We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Yeah. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality too? I think we should. Well, you're kind of full of yourself. Like you're making it sound like we're like these big celebrities. Like when you think about it, people know the phantom thieves. They don't know Ken, Ryu, Gion, Futaba. You know, they don't know those people. No, we're special. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Um, well, we gotta steal. Oh. You know what? Swimsuits? Moron, that's a crime. What we're gonna steal in reality yeah. are yeah. girls' hearts. Wait, wouldn't that kind of be weird stealing the heart of someone who's on our team who's also stealing hearts with us? Like, I see. I just need yeah. to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well, let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. No, no. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! Sorry, Mona. I don't think this is voice. Good, straight up no dialogue at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the voice. I didn't think so. I don't know. The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Feel better? Feel, oh, uh, feel better. I said that in the wrong tone. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going it as an attitude. I can't even read today. I've sensed a presence staring at us for some time now. Are we being followed? 
Well, wait, does this mean girls are gonna hit on us? <laughs> See, I told you they'd be here. I could sense it deep within my loins. Those lovely boys look like they're just begging to be hit on. What? Okay. Oh, you're those guys from Shujikin. What are you doing here? Oh my, I can't believe... <coughs> I can't believe we've been reunited in such a stunning place. This smells like destiny to me. No. We're the fashion police. If you don't answer our questions, we'll take you away. So, which of us do you think is more manly? What are you talking about? Oh dear, our, your time is up. Sorry, but it was a trick question. The quick the answer is, we're both lovely. You interfered with our duties by not answering the question. I sentence you to stripping. Oh god, this is this is not what I bargained for when I bought this game. And by me, I mean my mom. Um, oh, my fashion, my fashion so much. skills would be perfect for this. Hands behind your head. Ah! The suspects are escaping. Catch them. I think we lost him. Wait. By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Oh, what are you doing with those lobsters? Yes. While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale, and so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you were real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced the moment I sat. Okay, I skipped some that. Good for, good for you? We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industries. And in the dust. I just can't say anything today. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so you were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? It's far more interesting than anything involved with you two. What was that? Hey, let's ju just let the children have fun with fellow children. Where are we going now? What creeps. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. They got lucky. What do you mean? If things had gone bad, we would have sent him to the hospital. Uh, never mind, it's nothing. By the way, by the way, where are Morgana? Where are Futaba and Morgana? What? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand? I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi, or perhaps roast them whole? What? E enough of your vile po uh, postulations. Those are purely for the sake. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. Uh, what characters this game has? Literally, like this game has. You should probably start heading home. Like this game has funny characters. Anyway, okay. So Agreed. Characters. Let's pack up. Oh, interesting characters. I'm gonna shut up now. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd too. Yeah. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Yeah. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know, what? all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. It wasn't. Uh, it's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. Yeah, they I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Oh, people can't be brought back. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. Uh, I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. Mm. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's 
the Metaverse. She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand after it actually happened to me. <coughs> All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. It is. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Oh, the bug. So, why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy, I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. And we did. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. Oh, that's true. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Medjet's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You are our only hope. What? The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. You did something, that's for sure. But the Phantom Thieves, I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Oh, so like we were to kill, if we were to actually kill one of our target's shadows, they would have a mental shutdown in the real world. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned. I guess it was a true. Yes. Going through. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was. I don't know for sure, but right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? A Futaba brain. I, I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. Hmm. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. You shouldn't. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. And eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If That's anything, fine. you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. Yeah. <laughs> But I hope we get along, Futaba. There, yeah, they are at it again, Eugene and Moriana. Thanks. Let's leave those <coughs> three. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? Oh, yeah. What's that? 
It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Yeah. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? No. Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? We're gonna eat. Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? I know that. I don't, I don't mean. Too simple. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. That's a nice name and slogan. I guess. Yeah. She Sounds kinda, great. She kind of, she kind of provided a slogan to go with it. Tabo B Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored phantom thieves would be so close. Well, here we go. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. That's for sure. Should we get going then? Yeah, probably. What an eventful day. Yes. The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash. Whether they're connected to us or not. Remember that. Well, we haven't seen that SLU director in a while, but um, remember that disposing of unnecessary trash. Remember that line for later. Okay. Anyway. Blah blah blah. Ah! I think that's what they said. Um. Here's where where. What? Okay. So, uh, can we actually do stuff today? Morgana's not gonna be like, not gonna put us to bed early. Um, um, let's see. Did I get a drink yesterday? I'm pretty sure I did. I, I, did. I, I probably did. Um, hang on with, uh, oh, shot. Yeah, she won't make up. Why? Why? Um, what am I trying to do? Okay, let's just go to confidant. Fumi Togo. She has a star. Okay, I have a star persona. I don't know why she won't want, she doesn't want to wake up, but why not? I could hang out with Oya. But it's better to like balance them all out. Yes, let's hang out. Why not? Why not? I look let's forward invite to it. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yes. Um, hopefully we'll go next time. Well then. Yeah, okay, well, I got that sound good. Okay, let's end here for today. Let's end here for today. in the depths of mementos. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Sorry, did I wake you up? It's fine. Oh, um, my sunburns were hurting and that woke me up. Casting at sunburn? I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black. Don't you get it? Cats get, <laughs> you burnt black. It's all natural. By the way, it's not like I'm bothered by this or anything, but hypothetically speaking, okay? Oh, okay. What would you do if I turned out to be some weird thing? 
Is this a confession? Hell no, it's just hypothetical. Okay. If what I saw from earlier is true, is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? Yeah, like if it wasn't for you, the Phantom Thieves wouldn't even exist because you're the one who told us everything and taught us everything about the metaverse and all that stuff. And even if I'm with the team, I'm useless at the moment. Not useless. It's annoying. It's times, nothing. But... Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. Hmm. I don't think so. But rather than becoming some that's weird it. thing, maybe staying as a not, cat not, isn't so bad either. Not to crush your dreams, but I don't think you're gonna get into like a whole little suite or whatever. You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Thought so. Don't forget what you just said, okay? Oh, yeah. My bond with Morgana has grown deeper. Like seven already. All right. Come on. Let's hurry up and get to sleep. Night. Night. It'll be fine, right? What an eventful day. An eventful day indeed. Okay. Everybody's saying now how we're, we're like modern day Robin Hoods. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, let's do that baby down. I don't know. Okay. That's good. An eight, yeah, we definitely I definitely should go to um Mementos. Very, very soon. Um I it doesn't look like anybody can okay good. But there's no more getting convenience for today. No, yeah, today would be a perfect day too. Convenience store. Alright. Thought you heard a weird sound. Um <laughs> okay. Um yeah, I just wanna just Uh, well... Oh, that's not good. Unforgivable, I must say. Do you have any info on him? It'll all work out, I'm sure. Good Wink. work. All right. Hey. Let's do something about it. Calling just forgets that we we have the it ID. The only one that we don't have ID is the one who bully bullies bullies. Which is the one at school. On to our next story. Next up, I spot a D. People are calling us modern day Robin Hoods. It's, Man, it's hot. It's good stuff. He doesn't seem to know. Oh, I should have said he doesn't seem to remember, but. Um. Can we do a test? Possibly. I don't know. Let's see. Uh. Uh, she won't make up though. Um, I think I'll hang out with Oya then instead. 
Go ahead, but no, 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 no. Um, I, I, I probably should have just fast traveled the crossroads instead. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Yes, today is our second to last day of summer. Tomorrow is our last day of summer. Of climate change? summer break. <laughs> why? Okay, no. Um. <laughs> Okay, you look very drunk. <laughs> just gonna sit here. Okay, huh? I am totally not drunk. <laughs> yeah, I did. Did something ha bad happen? You know, I really wish, like there are some times where I really wish Oya was voiced because like, I can just imagine like, if they could, if they could, could, if she was voiced and they could hire the right voice actor, she could easily be the funniest old confidant in Persona history just because of her drunkenness all the time, you know? Okay. Um, you know, and everybody knows, well, not everybody knows, but m me personally, I think that Maya from Persona 3 is the, um, funniest confidant in the game with the, uh, J, J or uh, M O M M O P G something like that. Anyway, okay. This game is not Persona Three. This game is Persona Five. So let's not talk about Persona Three. Um, did he find out? Damn it! You might be right. You might be wrong, but you might be right. I don't know why I did that. Um, that's the spirit. Hell yeah. Sorry. No, that's okay. All right. Oh, bank six already. I didn't know we were so far into her confidant. I thought we were only like rank four. I mean, no, I, maybe that's, that's a Fumi, we're, we're only like rank four, three or four then. Um, I never expected what happened to Futaba's mother would be connected to those incidents in the city. Well, it is. We can't leave this be. You're right. Though this scoundrel has the same power as us, they're triggering people's mental shutdowns. Yeah. If they truly exist, who can stop them? Only us. That's a good point. This is getting interesting. You seem fired up. We've got a new addition to the team, so it's time I flex my veteran skills. Yeah, what are you? You're so excited about there. All right, so. Who's sixty-four percent? Um, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So next time on Let's Play Persona Five.